So after downloading and installing Studio Cart and setting up your first product, you're now ready to install a template and get your checkout page set up. So you can go to studiocart.co slash template dash library slash Divi and see the available um, templates that we have for uh, the Divi theme. And I'm going to go with the first um, checkout template that's right here. And I'm going to click download to get the import file. And now I'm going to go back to my website and I'm going to create a new page. And I'm going to just follow the normal process for creating a page in Divi. So I'll click use Divi Builder. I'll choose build from scratch. I'm going to close this out and click this um, expander button so that I can import the JSON file that I just downloaded from the Studio Cart website. So now I'll click import, choose file, and we'll open it up and hit import Divi Builder Layout. So as you can see, the uh, checkout page template has been imported into Divi and I can now set up my checkout form. So I'm going to click on the settings. Um, there is a Divi module available for a Studio Cart checkout form. Um, so you don't have to use a short code if you have Divi installed. So right now I'm looking at the Studio Cart order form settings. I'm going to select my product. I only have one right now and I can, you know, have some other options here such as hiding the um, section labels or I'm sorry the uh, form labels and I can convert it to a two-step form so I can collect leads um, before allowing someone to purchase um, for cart recovery sequences so those are the options that are available as of right now and if you want to apply a coupon code by default um, that's what this field is for um, but for now I'm just gonna leave it at the default and hit the check mark and then um, once I've you know made whatever customizations, customizations I'm going to make to this page, I'll publish it. And then I'll just exit the Visual Builder just to take a look. I am not all that familiar with um, the Divi Builder, so that's why I'm not going to go too much into how to customize things. Um, but it was basically the same process that you would follow um, for creating any other page that you would using Divi Builder. So this is my checkout page right here. Um, I can then take this link. Of course, I can you know replace this um, default number here with something else, but um, you know something more readable, more user friendly. But then I can now take this link and link it to um, a buy now button on my sales page or share it um, wherever I want to put it for, so that someone can now come to this page and buy my product. And then to set up a thank you page. So this is the thank you page that I already have. And um, again, you can create your own thank you page using Divi or whatever um, uh, tool that you're most familiar with and most comfortable with. But um, once you do create your thank you page, go to your product that you want to use this page for. So I'm going to go to Studio Cart Products, hit the Edit button. And then I'm going to go to Order Confirmation. I'll select Display Page. And then I can just select my thank you page right there. And I'll hit Update. just to kind of test everything out. We'll go ahead and place a test order. So I'm gonna put in the test Stripe card number, any month and year, any CVC, and any number for the zip. And then I'm going to hit order now. And then it takes me to the thank you page that I specified in the product settings.